hello everybody and welcome thank you so much for joining me as i try to show off the best of modern retro gaming today we are coming with to you at today one of these days i'm gonna get that right today we are playing coromon which is a fun monster training game that is coming up soon the devs are trying to get it released for june uh but the demo is available which is what i'm playing available now on steam go check it out it's a lot of fun we've played through normal we played through um is it database where no it's it's not database we played through normal we played through hard we are now playing insane level and that is what am i looking for oh that's what i'm looking for difficulty manual so hard is if a Cormon faints that leaves your squad and you can't escape from any battles in addition to that we also have we can't use any recall items so we have to travel the whole thing and we have to catch the first Cormon that you encounter in each area so um if it faints or flees you're out of luck which is yep that but you're free to capture any perfect Cormon. so that's interesting so maybe if i get lucky there's a perfect one and we'll be able to catch him if we lose some so i played through the intro we are ready to go and catch some Cormon. i did choose cub zero the last of the intro the last of the um starters that you could pick so yeah i forgot i always forget about the, go to go out and there's this last little thing um so we get a yeah so there yeah so we could uh she's giving me oh instead of giving me recall items she gave me the gold for them because i can't use the recall items um i can get again the phoenix shards are not useful to me because those revived KO'd poke uh Cormon and um so I'll be selling those as well so let's get in here and see if we can hopefully capture our first one let's go over here and see what this is first a spinner HP cakes all good SP cake is also very good let's see I have to capture one to do this little quest here with this guy so let's see well there we go let's see what our first one's going to be and it is going to be a patter I like a patter bit so that is cool let's see if we can get this guy down to a place in which we can I'm a little worried that I'm just going to knock him straight out Stop. okay good um the powder bit is awesome i like the powder bit so let's go for it let's spin her let's try to capture him i can't hit him again which is, will knock him out so hopefully that's low enough so that we'll be able to catch him yes so we got a powder bit so no we do not want to um no we don't want to i know about the powder bit there is still several uh that i would like to do and see i've i have seen the patter bits evolution but i have never had it while it evolved so so let's go ahead and give him my patter bit yeah yeah okay so let's go ahead and did he's gonna get this i love this little scene here though we give him a patter bit and then he gets in trouble uh for <laughs> for trading one instead of capturing one so that's yeah so that's that's kind of funny so he's gonna give me that and for my trouble he gives me a couple more spinners another thing a spinner is going to be silver spinners which is good catching Cormon easier which is good but the problem with the spinners is i'm probably going to have more than what is needed to be able to well not to be able to capture but if i'm limited to one cormon per area 
and that's the part of it is the one in the radiant park i'm going to assume that's how it works radiant park is one area i'm not sure exactly what the one area means i'm going to assume it's radiant park but there are different windows to radiant park so i wonder if it's which way it is that's going to be interesting we're going to have to try to level these up carefully i have skipped things in the past past like some grinding and stuff but i think i'm going to try to show as much as i can in this it may be a little tedious but i really would like to show off uh what all is happening and what all is i'm experiencing in the insane difficulty so like here is a window oh let's talk to the guy um i don't really need to talk to these people i know how to get there i still haven't found a way over to that um uh chest over there i guess across the water i don't know if i need a water core mon to be able to get over there or a flying core mon eventually or if there's a path through the woods i don't know so as you can see this is all radiant park here oh the screen does not change okay so we are going to run back all the way but we got radiant park we got hayville um we have enough i believe to get something enough six that's what i need i need six areas to get a full squad so he's a one we're gonna go ahead because you don't if you can it's best to do it with this one only one because then he gets all the experience points so he is going to be able to knock him out but i'm going to have to run back here we go because he is kind of hurt we got 14 experience that's pretty good actually um again although we do have health i probably should be using health potions and stuff like that although that's not quite useful yet <laughs> um i can't switch him out if he gets a lucky hit it's, again i don't want to lose these i probably shouldn't what let's see what level this is I might immediately switch it out. Um, yeah, let's go ahead. Uh, the Cub Zero, hopefully we'll be able to take this guy on without too much difficulty. And then my Peter Patterbit will be able to get a little bit more experience and be up to level three. Let's see what this Ice Frost Chomp does. I like having that ability right away. Uh, some of the other starters took a while to get any, um, like, I think it was, um, was it, uh, the fire one? I believe took a while to get a fire, uh, power, but I'm not, I don't recall. It's been, uh, a little while since I came back and play. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I know, I know, I know. So we're a little hurt and i'm gonna be running back a lot i believe to get healed i really want to hold on to my health potions or health cakes as much as possible and i really want to not risk it so we'll be coming back here probably quite a bit we probably also will not be using the um that thing there what is that thing a um the core uh, the core mon storage thing so that yeah that's probably not going to be a thing that we're going to use just because yeah the likelihood that what is this can i get anything out of this nope the likelihood that we're going to have extra core mon in this uh is probably going to be uh low but let's see what else we could do again i have I have not played very many uh, Pokemon games, especially all the way through. I've only played one all the way through. What I'm going to say true uh, Pokemon game because I have played um, 
I have played Pokemon Go and I've also played Pokemon Snap, which is not what you typically think of normal Pokemon games. Uh, but um, I'm having a lot of fun with this. There's a lot of uh, interesting um, uh, extras added in, such as the, I'm gonna give it a go. Probably not gonna stay with him, but we'll see. Um, like the skill points add strategy to the game. Um, the, um, it just, it, I like the artwork. The artwork is very well done. It's not, it's that um, like new pixel art kind of, it represents the old, but it's not limited to the, um, you know, the collar limitations that were um, prevalent in the early consoles. Uh, so I like that. I like the pixel art, but then also I like, um, yeah, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do straight up attack on him. I think will probably be best because he has some nice little things that are uh, beneficial. Um, uh, special abilities that are beneficial later on that hopefully I'll be able to take advantage of. Um, so yeah, so some of these things, um, the artwork, like I said, and I like the extra, the, the little animations that go along with the hits are very nice. So hopefully we'll be able to take care. I probably should have yeah, okay, good. I was a little worried about that, to be honest. I did not know how much uh, he was going to hit a level one. Uh, probably won't give me very much experience, but I was a little worried about that. Um, again, we can go on and switch out as long as they're not too high of a level. I can easily switch over to my um, sub, uh, su Cub Zero. I think is what he's called. Yeah, Cub Zero and be able to, you know, do a little bit of experience without, um, you know, getting too much damage on my um, patter bit. So yeah, there's going to be a lot of straight up just grinding in here, I think. Um, hopefully it won't be too bad. Uh, I had a heck of a time, I gotta say, with um, hard difficulty I lost a lot of Cormon had to go back a quite a bit to be able to um, you know I had to go back and you know grind and recatch Cormon and still did not end up beating the last um, one so uh, or the get beating the game. I ended up actually losing um, by losing all my Cormon, which not a happy thing. So I'm really want to take it super careful in this one. Uh, I think I learned a lot in the hard difficulty and I definitely learned that I've seen a lot of people play, um, you know, Nuzlocke style on core uh, on Pokemon. I'm going to get those mixed up all the time. Um, a Nuzlocke style on Pokemon and I definitely definitely have uh, a lot more respect for those people uh, just because this is a lot difficult a lot more difficult than what I first expected these early battles are probably going to be quick and I want to be putting a lot in but later battles take a lot longer time especially when i go up against um um what's the word uh, trainers those typically take a long time so hopefully uh if i can spend a little extra time early on and get them up to a decent level the trainers hopefully will be a little bit easier um, I don't know if there's a difference in these two uh, bushes, um, whether this gives me like has a chance for a little bit higher. What does she say? 
I don't think I've talked to these people, or if I did, I do not recall what they've said. So let's go talk to them and see if they'll give me a little bit more information. So hopefully he should be able to deal with him pretty easily. Um, some of the early Cormon, uh, the other two, no, I was thinking it was electric type, which is one that I ended up doing a lot with actually gets hurt very easily with, uh, the scratch a type attack cut type. I was talking to all of them. We could finally go on quest. What do you have to say? Do you have anything? Walk into the guys for sure. I'm strong enough. Come and protect yourself. Okay. So I was going to just go out here and check out the next area. Again, we do not want to push too high or too far in this. We really want to take our time with this because I really don't want to because you a critical hit just like that could really wipe you out quicker than you expect or also you know there let's say there's a chance of you know one to three in these two bushes and then a um a five to uh, eight in the next section and then you go in and get an eight and you're totally not prepared um so i'm definitely trying to be prepared and do as much as I can. Uh, yes, I get to get those level ones out easy uh, is going to definitely be an advantage. I have not used feelers or actually any of the other special abilities. I want to see um, exactly what fillers does. Feelers finds a weak spot. Oh, the next attainment dart 2.5 times the damage. That's kind of helpful. But, um, oh, no special traits. My Cub Zero has a, a special trait, but it's not really. It's like, yeah, increases 25% of its attack, but accuracy is down by 10% which is not really ideal. I was hoping to get, I don't know, a, a little bit better of a special trait. Okay. I would have liked to have seen a Seal Quill too because as my first one, hopefully somewhat, somewhere along the line, we can get a Seal Quill as our first one because I have yet to see it evolve. I have no idea what the evolution, I haven't, well, I saw a trainer have a Cormon that could possibly be the evolution of Silkwill, but again, I have not seen that, that myself. So let's, oh, okay. He, I don't know what Downloader does. It does, it is able to download my attack stats, but I don't know what that means. So Slam, that was a good hurt. Let's go ahead and that may take me up to level six. That's probably, yeah, a good bit of a uh, experience there and a good attack. Now that he's level six, what you could do is what I, and what I usually do, you want your Cormon all to be like levels. Um, in the last playthrough on hard difficulty, because I kept on losing Cormon, uh, I would, I ended up with a huge gap between my two, my, my one Cormon and all my other Cormon. And what that did is allow me to push forward. But when he got in trouble, I had no backup. And that's really what, um, ultimately got me in trouble and it did um, me losing the game is because I had no backup for my one that I mean I had one that was at 25 and the next one was at level 15 which really wasn't able to give me much backup for him so these guys look like they're maxing out about five or maybe three oh he was frozen solid sweet that's a nice thing. Will that let me attack? Well, then let's go ahead and use this since that did so much damage on him. There we go. That was kind of neat. I did not know that was a thing. 
Um, so basically, I just switch back and forth until one of them is kind of hurt. So, um, like the Cub Zero is still has, you know, most of his HP up. So we'll continue on. I don't think that this guy gives me anything. I think he just tells me that, yeah, I could reach and then be careful. Yeah. Oh, he does give me cakes. Awesome. Uh, I got to remember that so that I make sure that, uh, he, uh, I, you know, I get those HP cakes. So we're walking up and down the edge just to get an idea. And if something comes out, that's big, then we could jump out if it hurts us quite a bit. Again, one area, I don't know. I'm going to assume that means one like Radiant Park or um, I don't think it means each section of grass. I think it means Radiant Park or um, Hayville or, you know, that I think that's what um, that means by the hard difficulty. So that's what I'm going to go by. I do not know if that is the truth or not. So, would you have to see? I guess I could try, but I'd rather not risk losing a, um, a, um, a uh, spinner. I'd rather not just kind of throw away a spinner. Um, one of the other things that I would uh, like to see, uh, I mean, I think the game is great. I love the game, but I would like to see more uh, save spots with three starters and four difficulty levels. I think two save spots is a little slim, but you know, um, that's just my opinion. I would like to see a little bit of more slaves save spots. There we missed, which is that accuracy is a little lower. And what I might do on is when he goes up, maybe I'll throw an accuracy on him. Um, might be a good idea. Ah, oh, shoot. Rest. Oh, no. That, that's going to give him. I probably shouldn't have done that, but I don't think he's high enough level to knock me out, but that gives him an extra hit there. I really probably should have been playing a little bit closer to my... Uh, SP there 44 awesome um speed HP yeah so I'm gonna assume these attacks is what increases my maybe my damage but also my accuracy I'm hoping uh that and he's a rounded one so what am I gonna do let's do special attack HP and defense give him a kind of a overall grounded and we might switch up and do if I remember do regular attack and special defense next time I really should have went back and healed I was not paying attention there I hope it's a low silk will okay we should be able to take him out here I might be able to knock him all the way out but we'll see freeze him maybe okay good a little worried there Gotta say, I was a little worried. But yeah, I'm going on the edge just because... And the next one's a big, long grass area that you have to go in and out of. So, uh, yeah, we're going to wait a little bit. We're going to be playing around here probably this episode and next. Um, I'll have to switch out my pattern belt to switch them back. Uh, just to make sure that we get a nice, good level here because... Next area is going to be daunting. Uh, it's not very hard to get over into um, um, Hayville, but there are some trainers in the way. With trainers and with um, grass in the way, we've got to make sure that our Cormon are strong enough. We only have two and we only can get two at this point. So we definitely have got to be, got to have strong Cormon. So let's switch these two guys out and we'll, uh, I guess we'll go ahead and end the episode there so that we can push on next episode. I know a few of these are being kind of long 
or were kind of long and I'm trying to be more cognizant of that uh, but I think we'll spend the next episode here in the beginning of Radiant Park and then probably try to push forward into this area and see what we see. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed this episode, please give me a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe. That really helps out quite a bit as I try to grow the channel. And if you like to see, um, you know, modern retro games, definitely subscribe. That is what this channel is all about. And one last thing, I want to know what difficulty have you played on and have you tried out insane? Let me know in the dis uh, uh, comments down below. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye everybody.